Hello all, welcome back to my Python series and today we'll be talking about basic memory management in Python. Before diving deep into memory management in Python, um, why should you care about memory management? Um, actually, it helps us write um, more efficient code. Um, it also helps us to debug our code and uh, it also makes us look smart. So let us dive in deep into memory management in, in Python. So before diving deep, we are going to define some terms. Um, a variable, um, actually a variable is just a container that stores different value. A name, a name is just um, a label for an object, okay, and in Python, each object can have a lot of names okay and then mutable mutable just mean um we can change uh, meanwhile immutable means we cannot change and um, garbage collection we are going to see that as we proceed in our lesson so let us look at um, uh, some examples how python my memory we have um, a simple code we have x equals to 5 um, y equals to x and uh, we print the id what happened is that um, python is going to create a reference x on your stack memory and it's going to assign the value the value which is the object will be on your heap memory so this code x equals to 5 this is what is going to happen x is going to point to this object 5 okay each object in python has three parts okay we have the type we have the id and we have the value type here is going to be an integer um, and in python okay integers are immutable that means we can't change them then the id this function id and you put the reference or you put the name and then the value the value here is um, five so um, um the um, x is going to be five on the heap memory okay now this second line y equals to x what happened is y points to the same object that x points to okay so y and x are references to five now there is something called a reference count the reference count is just the number of reference you have so in this case five have two reference now what happened if we change x okay for example what happened if we say um, x is equal to x plus five definitely remember integer are immutable so what happened is python creates a new object on the heap okay and at sign x and this x uh okay and this x points to to five so now let us just forget let's make as if this this other x here don't don't actually exist because that is what that ha actually happened the reason why i actually did this is how i felt bored to be drawing and drawing chart on on the screen so i just decided to draw one chart and try to explain everything on it so that is what actually happened so python creates a new object and uh, and, assi um, and assign x to it um now what if we do z equals to 10 what happened is that python creates another name z and the reference points to the same object as x well this is python way of optimizing okay because it will be needless for python to be creating 10 10 and uh, reassigning names to it so it's just a better way of um, optimization in python but meanwhile other languages that are c um, what will happen is we'll have two variables and uh, and two values on the memory which is 10 and 10 and x and z so let us move to the next slide now um uh, python python is also a dynamic a, a dynamic language okay in such a way that this z equals to 10 can also change to z equals to car okay so what will happen is uh, python here is um pointing to uh, 10 on the heap memory so what will happen is a new object is going to be created on the memory uh, and this z is going to point to to car so that is why uh, python is also considered as a dynamic type language okay um let us look again another example yeah we have the main we have our main uh, and we have some function multiply and add so what happened is on your stack okay we have um, um the entry point which is the main okay so this is known as the stack frame okay so what happened is um, z z is equals to 10 year what happened is uh, this name python creates um, um an object 10 on the heap yeah because um all objects are being created on the heap meanwhile the references are being created on the stack um that is how python works so um, z is going to point to 10 on the heap now let us move down um uh, z 
we call z is equals to this mol y now what happened is python creates um another um, stack frame okay this stack frame which is the the multiply function the mul function uh, i just abbreviated that is the multiply function okay now what happened is in this multiply function e um x is assigned to to this same thing okay yeah x maps to 10 um guys please excuse me again the reason why is I have a lot of um, link in here so you just have to follow me kindly okay um this is a little bit of reference this is the reference here this yellow means return blue means assign and uh, the red means change so what happened is another stack frame mul is being created and, and x x is being um, um assigned the value 10 um, that is that that is what happens here then you see x equals to x times 2 what happened is remember again integer are uh, immutable so python will create another object 20 and uh, now this x okay this x will reference it will normal reference this 10 okay it will now reference a new object on the memory okay which is 20 now we see um, let us continue reading down the code you see y equals to add x now what happened is another um, stack frame is being created that is our add function now we see x here and x here wow there is something we have to know here is um about the local namespace okay the local namespace what happened is this x and this x this x here and this other x here are actually found in different namespace okay so python uses this leg b like how this is how python um, searches for 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 this is how python searches for names so the first thing is it has to look for that name in the local environment that is the l for the leg and then it's going to look in the enclosed after that it's going to look in the global okay um if it does not find in the global the b the b starts for the build and it's going to look in the build and so in this case um python is going to look for this x is found in the local space so what happened here is um okay we are in the app. this x okay this x now points to a new object on the memory which is um assigned to the value 22 that is x plus one x x here was um, 20 but it does not pound to the same it creates a new object on the memory to m22 now we return x what happened with the return okay um on this reference here we see that the yellow line oh sorry it's not even actually the yellow line the green line excuse me not the yellow line the green line um shows the return value so what happened here is this return x okay now if you look at um, uh, at our mul function, we we notice that y y call the add function. Okay, so now on the return part, y now is um, y reference to y maps to the twenty one on the heap memory. Okay, so y maps here. Now this x, okay, this reference, this x reference is being um, pop off. It's been pop off from the stack. Okay, now. We come back here we continue reading here now we return y which um uh, is based on the z so uh, we should look here z this value this z also now maps okay it it it, it um it holds the the 20 on the heap memory that is what actually happened so this mute is also pop off from the stack now we we see something here that this x is being popped off from the stack and we still have 20 on the heap memory so what happens with this 20 okay just we are going to see what happens and um, just be patient in a while and um, then after that when our main when our when our co um, okay this one is pop off and um, then z is um, um, is pointing to, to 21 on the on the heap memory so that is it that is what happens okay now let us look at how python assign memory um, uh, on on classes so now this is a class uh, we have our class our class car and we have okay so let us look at the main the main method so what happened is um we have the main start frame which is the entry point now we have c c equals to c c equals to car so what happened is um, um a car object is being created on the heap so this is our heap and this is the stack so a car object is being created on the heap okay now when ooh, a new stack frame okay a new stack frame is going to is going to be created because this 
this car object has um, something called uh, a constructor so this is the constructor so um in this constructor we have um, um, this variable we have this variable w w points to four okay before even looking at the variable is now this car object is being created on uh, on the hip memory allocation and uh, this wheel this wheel this instance variable is being created also on the heap okay and it points to four now remember four is past here okay so it points to four now what happened is this w this w also points to the same object okay then serve serve here points to serve points to the object okay it points to wheel mean okay so this self points to wheel this wheel points to four on the heap and uh, this w also points to four wow this is how pythons work now um, um if we run this other code this um, um c dot gates wheel what happened is another stack is being created and the self is being passed okay now this self points to the object to the car object which the car object stands variable which points to four so and the return this this return statement the return and now also points to this four okay so that is how um object mem um, object memory are being assigned on python okay let's talk about a um, garbage collection now python python um there are two two type of garbage collection we have um, the reference counting we also have tracing but python python uses reference counting okay um this reference counting let me go back here okay on this code yeah we notice that the reference count of five here is two okay it has two reference counts now how does python free object python's free object when there is no more reference when the reference count is zero like for for example yeah yeah this x um, when when this is pop on this off this at is pop off this multiplier is pop off what happened is that this 20 the reference counts the only reference count is this x and the x is pop off so the reference count is being set to zero so what happened is python uses um, an algorithm that python has a table okay a table that that store this reference counts and uh, an algorithm that um says through the table if the reference count is zero it um automatically um remove this 20 from the from the heap now there are some limitations of there are some limitations of um references is that um is space overhead because yeah it is real space overhead keep a table for assigning this this reference count um it is not generally thread safe yeah it is not thread safe because imagine you have two thread that wants to um, um add the same ref count yeah it is going to cause a problem and uh, um, another pr um, problem is that it doesn't detect a um, cyclical reference okay it doesn't detect cyclical reference the next slide is going to explain what cyclical references are now um, um there is this point is um, this point here is avoid putting large and complex object on uh, the global namespace why why because um another way another way that um python another way that python um also deletes delete object from the from the heap is um is when the reference is out of scope for example um this is this is going to be pop off this like for example this at the the name x is going to be pop off and when it is pop off what happens is the reference count here is going to reduce by one so this 20 will not have any reference coin and is going to be is going to be deleted from the from the memory okay? so it's going to be deleted from the memory now um, assuming that you have a um, an object a very big object on the global namespace okay so how will it be popped off out of the memory how will it be it is in the global namespace so the reason is um, we should avoid putting large and complex object on the global namespace it is not memory efficient okay now let's talk about cyclical references okay cyclical references is 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 when when the internal um reference for an object is being linked on both sides okay a lot of think like for example we have a node okay this is a node this node is being linked here and the node is being linked here now the reference count of this node here will be one okay why why is the reference count one is just simply because these two nodes are linked to each other so um the reference the reference counting algorithm in 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 python will not not um, um 
delete this object okay it's not it's not going to release the delete this object from the from the heap memory so now um how can we solve this problem um we have other type of um, algorithm um, we have uh, the mark and the sweep um, the mark and the sweep algorithm is also is it's a tracing algorithm and this is what um, python this is what sorry this is what java uses to to this is what java used for garbage collection okay so the simple idea here is um it mark any object that is reachable okay and sweep any dead object so what happened here is um these are dead object okay so what happened is it's going to mark it and this little reference is going to be deleted okay it's going to be sweeped out because it is it is a dead object okay now which algorithm does python actually uses python python does not use the the mark and sweep but it uses the idea okay python uses an another algorithm called um, the generation garbage collection algorithm this this generation garbage collection algorithm um is a little bit more complex than reference and i'm going to encourage each and every one of us to to take a to 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 do a little bit of research um i'm going to put a description on the link of this of this algorithm but let me give you an idea the idea is um, what happened is python creates generation okay python python uh, this generation garbage algorithm is being based on the idea that um, um young objects die early okay yeah young object die early and uh, python uses three three form of generation it uses um, generation zero the one and the two so this order this oldest object in your memory l tends to live long than the new the newly created object in your memory so what happened is there is a threshold okay when this okay now generation the generation zero generation zero are uh, where the 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 young object tends to live so there is a threshold now what happens is when this object reaches a certain threshold python runs a generation garbage collection algorithm and uh, it tends to delete to delete the, the, the object out of memory so guys um i hope this video has been informative to you um, and i want to thank you for viewing um, i want to also lead on you guys please to support me on my patreon um, and also to to share my my video and and i also want to thank you for taking your time to view my video so our next video is going to be um we'll be diving a little bit deep we'll be um not even diving deep we'll be entering into python now this is where we'll start get a real um, um, a real entry into python where the course is going to start for what we have been doing is we have just been um getting your feet wet okay we'll enter into variables so our next video will be on variables we're going to talk about variables um actually python don't use the variable uh, I, i'm just I, I just like calling them variable it is variable though so we're going to enter about name name is actually the preferred word used in python so we're going to enter that we're going to dive deep so please um, um subscribe um, uh, and give me a thumbs up and uh, share my video and also support me on my patreon so thank you all for viewing bye bye